Welcome to Volrath University. I'm Chef Rich, and we're here today to talk about cleaning the Redco manual food processors. Generally speaking of all these products, a um, couple of things. One, always clean them as close to the time that you're finished using them as possible. It's just the less time that the product has to dry on the unit, the easier it's going to be to clean. Things like the brushes, you know, the types that we supply or, or one of your own, and hot soapy water and a, and a good clean towel go a long way to cleaning all of these products. Dishwashers with their harsh chemicals can pit any of the aluminum pieces. There are some pieces on these that we'll address later that can go through a dishwasher. But generally speaking, anything that we have here that's the aluminum, probably don't want to put that through a dishwasher. Okay, so now let's talk about the Wedgemaster and the Wedgemaster 2. These items are specifically designed for citrus. Lemons, limes, wedging those products. And those acids from citrus can be very corrosive to metals, especially aluminum. So for that reason, we've made the Wedgemaster 2 out of polycarbonate. The base is a polycarbonate, the blades are stainless steel, 100% uh, dishwasher safe. The Wedgemaster 1, this unit is made out of aluminum, so this unit we do not recommend going into the dishwasher. So as I said, the Wedgemaster 2 can be put through the dishwasher. If um, you want to clean this one in the sink, very easy. Both these units, this is the recommended way for the sink, it would be to take the units Take the bottom side, spray the blades off. You can use a bristle brush and some good soapy water to get in there and clean anything that may be stuck, but always from the bottom, not from the top. Uh, if you're going from the top side, the bristles on the brush can actually dull the blades a little bit, and it's just not as safe. The pushers on either of the units, again, spray them off is probably easiest or a good bristle brush. And always a good thing with cleaning any of the Redco products a, a good towel and some hot soapy water uh, to clean things off goes a long way. Just keeping the units nice, uh, mild soap is, is best. Leave the units air dry. Uh, people will ask, can you take a towel and towel them off? Sure, you can. I just feel that um, you know, anytime you've got the towel, it's an opportunity to snag the towel on the blades, and it's just not as safe to be cleaning around the blades. Leave the unit air dry, it'll be fine. Finally, when you're done, both the units, anything that slides or moves, Petrogel, okay, this is specifically designed for this use. Uh, we don't want to use vegetable oils or anything else on here as those can dry and get gummy over time. This product is specifically designed for these and just a little bit uh, on the slides or the uprights when you're done, keeps the unit operating smoothly. Okay, everything nice and smooth. And that's it. Uh, for anything else, more information, please see us online at volrath.com.